Do you like Weezer? Yeah, they have some good songs. What's your fave? One second, undone. Oh, fake fan. <laughs> and that's on Omegle. Isn't that website horrifying? Why would you ever go on there? But like, yeah, they didn't even say that they were a fan. So calling them a fake fan probably doesn't hurt very much. <laughs> Real men marry nurses. Real women marry cops. And if you're out there and you aren't married to a nurse, not a real man. <laughs> and if you're not married to a cop, not a real woman. Me when someone who doesn't have kids explains how their dog keeps them up at night and it's just like caring for a baby. 0% interest. Yeah, we've read stuff like this so much. Like, you don't even know what tired means. <laughs> you have never been tired like I have, okay? Doesn't matter whatever you do, <laughs> I'm always better. <laughs> Public service announcement. This is not coffee. This is. What is it then? It's like the I'm very bad uh, subreddit. You know, like, oh, I'm way more tough than you because I drink a darker coffee. I'm a real expert. But yeah, pretty sure they're both coffee, but just not coffee to this person's standard. Okay? If you go out drinking and you call out of work the next day, I'm here to let you know you are soft. My generation showed up for work in the same clothes that we had on last night with a wristband. Yeah, like, I am so tough. <laughs> My generation, we were so much better. <laughs> Wait, you have feelings and emotions and you have a hangover? That must mean you're soft. Wow, okay, this one is literally a gatekeeper. <laughs> what are you doing with that gate, buddy? Oh, it's a headboard and a footboard for a bed frame. It's not a gate. <laughs> I feel very, very sick. Silly. People who dislike dark chocolate but enjoy milk chocolate have an immature palate. Here we go. The header pretty much says it all. I understand people not all liking really dark bitter chocolate, but people who can't stand anything darker than a Hershey bar? You don't really like chocolate. You like sugar? I wouldn't even touch Hershey's until they rolled out their special dark, and even that's a little mild. What are people trying to achieve when they say stuff like this. <laughs> like, I know chocolate better than you. My palate is more mature than yours. Yeah, okay, dude. <laughs> Don't care. Like, no, you're not a real chocolate fan unless you eat those raw cacao pods that grow on trees. Gatekeeping is silly. Wholesome gatekeeping. Men's height chart. Five foot to five foot three. King. Five foot four to five foot seven. King. Five foot eight to six foot. King. Six foot plus. King. Don't let these women with fake everything determine your worth, King. <laughs> Unless you're under five foot. Wait, you watch Vinci videos? King. What's a 47-year-old man doing with a hoodie? What's wrong with a hoodie? Nothing if you're a college student or younger. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> oh my god. You have to be a college student or younger to wear a hoodie? Yeah, I think I'm gonna hand it over to me from the past. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go watch The Simpsons. Enjoy this gatekeeping compilation. A chick in a band t-shirt. Name three songs. You can't wear a band t-shirt unless you're their number one fan. No, I disagree and I know people have really strong opinions on this, but I don't care if you don't listen to the band. I've got so many vintage t-shirts and some of them have bands on them that I don't really listen to. I know of the band, but I'm not an expert on the band. I just thought the t-shirt looked cool and called me crazy, but I don't see anything wrong with that. New rule, if you don't vote for Bernie, you can't share Bernie memes. I live in Australia. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there are so many Americans that think the entire world is America. <laughs> I live in like the countryside of Australia and there are so many 
people here that are sharing Bernie memes and we have absolutely nothing to do with American politics. Do you have to take away our fun? Come on. A thumb injury forces pro Call of Duty player to retire at just 25. It breaks my heart to step away from a game I put my heart and soul into every single day for 8 years. Well, you can now pick up a hammer, a tool pouch and basic hand tools and do something with your life that has meaning. Unless your eyelashes hurt too, you snowflake. Wow. <laughs> Someone's jealous? Oh my god. How is this guy a snowflake? Because he chose to do what he wanted to do and became successful at it. Like, think about how many people play Call of Duty. Think about how hard it would be to be so good at it that you become professional out of everyone who plays. Like, that's amazing and it's so much work. And yeah, even though he is just playing Call of Duty, he would have worked so hard to get where he is. Stop being jealous. Oh my god. <laughs> that's like if people got angry at me for what I do. It's like, I'm sorry. I don't want to break my back for a job that I don't enjoy. Sorry that this is what I want to do and it's working out for me. Nah, nah, nah. We're just snowflakes, aren't we? Just here to put an opinion that nobody asked for. Men shouldn't wear pattern boxes. Ha <laughs> ha. Like, honestly, I almost agree with this one. That's just my personal preference, you know. I feel cool and classy in my plain underwear. And every time I wear my underwear that has pineapples on it, I feel a little bit like, <laughs> I don't know, a little bit like a teenager. <laughs> nah, the moral of the story is wear whatever underwear you like. The four horsemen of being a crappy cook. Minced garlic, iodized salt, parmesan cheese, and lemon juice in a bottle. Dude, what's wrong with minced garlic and iodized salt? Oh, how dare you use salt? You know, I do sort of agree on the parmesan cheese one. It doesn't make you a bad cook, but like fresh parmesan cheese, like a block of it, is so much better. But like, sometimes you feel like that grated stuff. It doesn't mean I'm a bad cook. Maybe I'm a better cook because I can make cheaper ingredients taste good. Take that, dude. If you don't like pulp in your orange juice, you're weak. <laughs> Frail, brittle, sick. You're like a little baby. A stupid little baby. <laughs> Honestly, that's pretty funny. <laughs> You're a sick baby if you don't like pulp in your orange juice. Like, obviously that's not true. And I don't think this person's being serious. I'm 90% sure that they're joking as well. It would be pretty weird if you were this upset about orange juice. Unpopular opinion. Sushi has been whitewashed into a degree where it has become a colonizer's food. I won't cancel you for eating sushi, of course, but keep in mind you're culturally appropriating Asian culture if you eat it. How to eat sushi? Just chuck it in the bin. Uh, are you Asian? Uh, I'm Latin, so it's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> People on Twitter, hey? Oh my god. God, it made me mad when you said, I won't cancel you for eating sushi. Shut up! <laughs> oh my god. No, I won't cancel you for eating sushi, but I could. If you're getting this upset about people eating sushi. I can't even imagine how upset you're getting about other stuff in your life. Go away. Stop making problems. This is not life. This is life. Okay. Maybe people enjoy living in the city. Like, have you ever thought about that? Wait a second. Not everybody on earth thinks the same way as me. No way. Yeah, maybe some people would be really bored living out in like the middle of nowhere. It's just crazy how everyone's different and enjoy different things, isn't it? Just a reminder, you're not bisexual if you don't date the opposite gender. Stop using sexuality for attention. It's okay to be straight love. We aren't gonna bite you. Your sexuality isn't determined by who you're dating. You can be straight, gay, bisexual, and you don't have to be dating anyone. Like, it's not determined by whether or not you have a partner. Yeah, like this top comment says, sexuality isn't determined by the person you are currently dating. You can be gay and not have dated anyone before. I don't know why people feel the need to post stuff like this. It makes it seem like she thinks being queer in any form is an exclusive club with specific guidelines. You're or not one of us unless you do this, 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 and this. Just a reminder, leave everybody alone and let them live their lives. This one again, each large muscle of a bodybuilder represents a language he didn't learn, a poem he didn't read, and a fun fact he never memorized. This is the exact same as like incels and nice guys with Chad. Oh, if he's really ripped, then he must be an idiot. No, not necessarily at all. Just because you work out doesn't mean you're dumb. Now that I think about it, my closest friend is like the smartest guy that I know, and he's also really buff. It's just crazy how he's not a moron because he has big muscles. Movie quotes that would confuse the girls part one. I thought you could leave without saying goodbye. I love you 3000. Part of the journey is the end. I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't understand any of them. <laughs> I've never watched any of those movies and <laughs> guess what? I'm a guy. What does your gender have to do with this? Oh, because I'm a girl and I watch this movie, I automatically don't understand certain things. Tell me how that makes any sense. It doesn't. 
Real men don't hit you up late at night demanding photos of your naked body. Real men hit their desks with closed fists demanding photos of Spider-Man. Finally, one I can get behind. Damn right. Not accomplishments. Losing weight, fitting into your gull weight pants, posting a before and after photo. Actual accomplishments. Graduating from a school or course or program, raising money for a non-profit, celebrating the body you are in today. Oh my god. Go to hell! <laughs> Losing weight is a massive accomplishment and fitting into your gull weight pants is a massive accomplishment too. If you don't think that's an accomplishment, who cares? Like, sorry, but this one actually really annoys me because like I've lost a lot of weight in my life and it's a big accomplishment. And if you don't think it is, like it doesn't really matter because it is. Graduating from a school is like the only accomplishment. What? Ah, oh, you don't get to decide other people's accomplishments, okay? Sorry, bro, your girl is not a console gamer. Not if she still has a PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 4 Pro and now the PlayStation 5 is out. This video capping. Since when is a PlayStation 4 not a console? <laughs> not what I said. I said his girl is not a console gamer because she has the oldest PlayStation 4 console when there's a new version out like the PlayStation 4 Pro or the PlayStation 5. So you're not a console gamer unless you automatically just always buy the newest console? What? <laughs> Maybe she's happy with her PlayStation 4 and doesn't feel like she needs to get a PlayStation 5. How does that make it any less of a console? Bro, girls can't be gamers. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, God. All right, dude. Whatever you say. These are the same sorts of guys. It'd be like, oh, it'd be so cool if I met a girl that was also into games. But then they're like, nah, girls can't be gamers. That's for boys. When you're the only vegan at the party, there seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. Why can't people just be happy? And why do they have to feel like they need to prove that they're better than you with like stuff like this? Your life choices don't make you better than somebody else. That's not how it works. Unless you're a vegan, you're an idiot. <laughs> okay. Little Witch Academia. You can watch it on Netflix. Excuse me? What? Why would one watch anime on Netflix? Wow. <laughs> you're getting upset about where people watch anime? Can someone please tell me why this matters? I don't think it does. I honestly feel so lonely. You? Try quarantine for 14 days. Wow. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then think about the people that were in lockdown for like nine months and they were on their own. Like, are you joking? <laughs> this should never be a competition because there's always going to be somebody that's more lonely or somebody that works harder or like whatever it is. There's always going to be a dustier car. It's almost like they're bragging about it. Like, it's not a competition. You're too young for this subreddit if you don't know what this is. What could that be? <laughs> I have a car that still has manual window wipers. Like, they're still a thing. <laughs> oh man, this is insane. If you don't know what car window winders are, you're a young idiot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure most people know what they are. No airbags. We die like real men. <laughs> oh man, I'm out of here. Stop claiming that you love sushi when all you do is eat a California roll with a fork. <laughs> like, honestly, <laughs> I almost agree with that one. That's pretty funny. For God's sake, don't eat it with a fork though. Like, at least just pick it up with your fingers. <laughs> You're adding extra holes. It's losing its structural integrity. It's gonna fall apart. <laughs> Come on, pick up your sushi. No, I don't really agree with this, but yeah, don't use a bloody fork for your sushi. Come on, if you can't use chopsticks, just pick it up. <laughs> Friend, why are you sad? Me, I lost my job. You shouldn't feel sad. Some people are having it much worse. Sad is sad. Exactly. It's not a competition. It is good to keep things in perspective and be like, yeah, okay, I could have it much worse, but that doesn't invalidate what you're going through. You shouldn't feel bad for feeling sad. Like, losing your job would suck. Perspective is great because it's like, well, you know, at least I was lucky enough to even get a job in the first place. But also, yeah, it does suck and you're definitely allowed to be sad about it. Life's all about balance, isn't it? Some people say, I love jazz. I put it on in the background. It's relaxing. <laughs> yeah, enjoy your Kenny G. You've obviously never sat down with Mingus Coltrane or Miles and actually listened. Oh my God. <laughs> you're obviously not as good as me. That's for damn sure. <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with putting jazz on and liking the sound of it in the background. You don't have to be a bloody expert on everything. I go on Spotify like once a week and I try and find new music. Half the time I can't even remember the name of the artist. Like I just like how it sounds. <laughs> oh my god that's pathetic. You need to be an absolute expert on every single person you listen to and know everything about them. This is just another way for people to feel like they're better than everybody else. You're not as cool as me because you don't listen to these people. You know like it just goes on and on and on. <laughs> I'm sorry that you feel that way. I just think it's weird when men have female dogs. It seems rooted in a desire to have 
total control over a woman. Men with female dogs just want to be able to call women bitches. Ah. Oh. <laughs> and is the opposite true with male dogs and women owners? Like, this is so stupid. <laughs> How can we take absolutely anything that somebody does and turn that into a reason why they're a bad person? I swear that's how some people's brain works. How can I make an issue out of this? <laughs> a good critic always puts more into writing about artwork than the artist put into making it. First of all, how would you ever figure that out? The artist only creates. The critic must plumb that creation and also write creatively enough to deliver the full volume of the art while also creating a thing of beauty and clarity itself. Like yeah, I'm sure art critics work really hard at what they do, but you can't just say a good critic always puts more into writing about artwork than the artist puts into making it. More what? More time? More effort? More love? More creativity? What are you talking about? Some artwork takes years to create. <laughs> like, it just doesn't make sense. Me, hey, can you give me my violin? Friend, sure, here you go. Only true musicians would understand. No, actually, I understand it pretty well. You're not meant to pick a violin up by the strings? <laughs> You're probably going to pull the strings out of their place, aren't you? That was so hard to understand. <laughs> God, I wish I was a true musician. WandaVision, why Herb was cutting the wall in episode 3. Yeah, that was weird. This is a show for the hardcore comic book fans, not the Marvel, that's a cool movie fans. And that comment has 150 likes. Oh, <laughs> movies are for anybody who enjoys them, dude. Not just hardcore comic book fans. I get the feeling that these people wouldn't enjoy it if somebody did the same thing to them and told them what they're not allowed to enjoy. But they'll happily tell everybody else what they can and can't do, won't they? So I'm 31 and I want to learn how to skateboard. Any advice is welcome. And Bear Margera responds to this. He screenshotted this and posted it on his Instagram. He says, if you're 30, you are simply too late. You're teaching an old dog new tricks. You starting fresh means you don't know any tricks to begin with. You're doomed straight out of the gate. My advice to you is just film it instead or ride a bike. Like, oh my God. And he posted that because he was like proud of it. And everyone in the comments is like, dude, I'm like 40 and I'm skateboarding. It's never too late to ride a skateboard. A professional skateboarder saying that people over 30 are just never going to be able to skate. I feel like somebody like Tony Hawk would probably have something to say about that. Authorities are investigating whether a TikTok video showed missing Arkansas woman. <laughs> Listen guys, that looks like Arkansas, okay? I'm Australian, I have no idea, but apparently it's Arkansas. <laughs> I said Arkansas in one of my other videos and everyone's like, oh my god. <laughs> what about all the other kids that have gone missing? There are thousands missing and no bodies have been found to match them. Are you saying that they should stop looking for missing people? Like, there are thousands missing and no bodies have been found. What about all the other kids that have gone missing? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Just because you didn't see a Facebook post about every other missing person doesn't mean that there aren't people working on it. I'm losing brain cells at a rapid rate. Please tell me that you're not learning chess because of Queen's Gambit. Wow. Oh, dude. <laughs> you watched a show and you were influenced and then you did something? Oh my god. Well, guess what? I was playing chess when it wasn't cool, so I'm better than you. At the end of the day, it really doesn't matter how somebody gets into something. If they're having fun, that's all that matters. I don't know why these people waste so much effort getting so upset about these sorts of things. You're never going to be able to stop this sort of stuff, dude. Are you over the age of 15? Do you remember video games? I played so much of that Where's My Water game, trying to fix the pipes for the crocodile in the shower. That was a good game. Like, I know nothing about normal video games, like Call of Duty and those sorts of things. Like, I have no idea. These sorts of games are the only ones I've ever been good at. You can tell that by me playing Superflight on the channel so much. If you are boyfriend don't drive badass truck for his landscape service business, then congratulations. You don't have a boyfriend, you have a girlfriend, stupid dumbass. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and that was posted in a Ford Turbo Diesel group. Ah. Here I was thinking that was meant to be a joke. Congratulations. Yeah, something's not right here. Grown men shouldn't be using a basket in the grocery store. Looking like a you-know-what with MK purse. Oh. <laughs> Please be joking, come on. Guys aren't really that insecure, are they? I bloody hope not. I'm a man, I'll carry everything in my hands until I spill it everywhere like an idiot. Like when people are trying to get drunk, why choose a beer when you could have, I don't know, a whipped cream flavored vodka? Try to tell this to a German, we don't like girly drinks. This is one that I actually feel amongst my friends because I don't like beer. But of course, like every guy I know drinks beer. It's one of those things, like especially in Australia, it's like if you're a guy, you should be drinking beer. It's like, well, <laughs> I wonder how many guys said they actually hate beer, but they just drink it because they feel like they have to. Probably a lot. What the hell did I just read? Why does this turn me on? I'm not even gay. Since when are emojis acceptable on this site? Uh, since all 
anyways? Oh, I don't think so. I suppose you're one of those middle-aged Facebook mums or just a normie. People getting upset at other people for using emojis is one of the lamest things ever. <laughs> I'm so tired of seeing this. What's wrong with emojis? Really just doesn't make any sense. I don't understand and I don't think I ever will understand. Becoming 20, teenage depression, and then actual depression. Yeah, I don't know if they're trying to say like, you know, if you're a kid, you don't understand what depression is because I really hope not because you can definitely be depressed no matter how old you are. But I don't know if that's what they mean by that. What do you guys think? Bonnie, how do you keep getting back in? I'm a drunk. I don't know nothing about how I do anything. Um, can someone explain to me what went wrong? Guys used to ride motorbikes and now they ride scooters. <laughs> uh, guys still ride motorbikes. <laughs> and guess what? It's time for me to leave. Hey, I loved your tofurkey dinner recipe you shared. How long have you been vegan? Hey, thanks. I love making it. Haha. <laughs> I'm not a vegan though, sorry. Glad you enjoyed it. Oh, vegetarian? No, I just don't like the taste and texture of most meats. Haha. <laughs> oh, so you like pretending to be a vegan because it's cool and in. I've been. I've been vegan for three years now and it was the best decision I've ever made in my life. It's not hip or cool. It's important. Wow. Yeah, and you don't need to push it on everybody else. Oh my god. I don't think they're doing it to be hip and cool. Good for you. That's great. I'm not pretending to be a vegan at all. In fact, I'm quite open about eating beef on my profile. There's public posts that state that. I just like tofu more than most meats. Tofu is strictly for vegans and vegetarians. You are basically admitting to appropriating us and stealing what we need for your own selfish use. I'm going to request the admin that you are removed from our group. With all due respect, I'm not appropriating anything. I'm eating food I like, you absolute truck. Yeah, and honestly, I don't blame you at all for getting angry. It's so frustrating. You're being selfish and eating tofu when we need it for our use. That's not how that works. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> God, that was such a good guess when I said that we were going to get frustrated today. It just really sucks that that has become a way for people to put other people down. Yeah, sounds like a fun person. I wouldn't trust code written by someone working with just a laptop and no external monitor, keyboards, etc. Any more than I'd trust a dentist with an ice pick and a pair of pliers. Have some self-respect and be a professional. Invest in your tools and workspace. So writing code, apparently, depends on the size of your monitor. Oh, bro, you're not a professional because you use a laptop. <laughs> I film and edit all of my videos on a MacBook Pro. But the only reason I do that is so I don't have to sit in my bloody room and edit my videos, you know. I can take it outside or I can take my laptop on the other side of the house so I don't have to edit in one place. And that could very well be the same situation for somebody who's coding on a laptop. Maybe they want to be able to do it on the go. <laughs> Maybe they could still be a professional and use a laptop. Crazy, isn't it? I'll let the NBA slide, but men are really in the UK pretending to be NFL fans. The Super Bowl was on talking about Tom Brady, he's the GOAT, he done it again. I'm glad you said the NBA because I was about to say that. The NBA is huge everywhere. So many Australians are into the NBA. NBA and the NFL and they've never been to America. They have nothing to do with America but they love the sport and yeah, what's wrong with that? It's like any sport. Like what is this dude? It doesn't matter where you're from. Why doesn't it sit right with me when men ski? Please pick up snowboarding. I don't know. <laughs> you do <laughs> Does it sit right with you when men go skiing? Okay. <laughs> to be completely honest, I'm not a huge fan of skiing. But goddamn, men can ski. Of course they can. Oh no, dude. Skiing is way too feminine. Is that what you're trying to say? And also, why are you bringing gender into this at all? So weird. American kids complaining that it's child abuse for a parent to hit a kid. African and Asian kids. Okay. That's a weird one. Your parents hit you? Oh, dude, you should have seen what happened to me. Like, yeah, okay, but why make this? Surely not bragging about that. It's one of those things where they think it's a competition. Like, oh no, it was way worse for me. That doesn't matter. Bad is bad. Just like when people gatekeep people for being sad. No, you can't be sad about that. It was much sadder for me. No, sad is sad and bad is bad. A lot of y'all just hear it. I feel music. I have this conversation often. People say I love music too. I'm like, no dog, you don't get it. This is my life, my soul, my existence. I love music. It's the biggest, most important important part of me. I could cry typing this. <laughs> I could cry. Oh my god. Everybody loves music, you dingbat. 
I could cry typing this. I love music so much. <laughs> oh my god. I'm better than you because I listen to music better than you do. I shut the blinds, I shut my eyes, I lay in my sensory deprivation tank and I listen to my music and I feel my music. Some of y'all just hear it, but it's a part of me. <laughs> I could cry writing this. Oh my god. I love that so much. 4.26 a.m. Good morning, blue collar boys. If you aren't blue collar, go to sleep, broke bitches. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Because other people don't get up at four in the morning for their job. They're automatically broke. When I used to have to do that trade sort of work, our shift started at 6 a.m. And it was like a two hour drive. So I had to leave my house at like three every morning. And guess what, dude? I was very much still broke. Oh, hey, it's the guy from Fargo. I love that guy. Office workers, shower, coffee, breakfast, stretches, arrives at work feeling refreshed. Trade workers, two cans of monster, no sleep, rage. Arrives at work hoping that no one dies. Like, as much as the bottom one could be true, it doesn't mean that people who work in an office have life easy. Like, God, dude. I feel like that's why a lot of people do trades, because they know that they probably wouldn't be able to do office work. Sitting in an office and just doing the same thing every day over and over again would just be, like, mind-numbing. It's obviously not easy. Like, oh, I just shower and have my coffee and eat breakfast and stretch, and I arrive at work feeling zen and motivated. Like, no. <laughs> It'd be really hard. Therapy is for kids. I'm sorry but you're messed up and it's too late to fix that. No way! You're joking! What? No! And it's too late to fix that. You're kidding, right? Oh god, don't put off getting help because you think you're too old and it's too late to fix it. No! No, no, no! Like, I really hope that most people don't think like that. That one's kind of sad. Real men don't have Xboxes, they have toolboxes. Tackle boxes and ammo boxes. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm a man because I have a toolbox, a tackle box, and an ammo box. Okay. Yeah, whatever. I feel like real men aren't this shallow. <laughs> That's just my opinion, though. Bookmarks are for quitters. <laughs> That's like the most abstract thing I've ever seen on a jumper. <laughs> yeah, I read an entire book in one sitting. You don't. We are not the same. You're not a real reader if you use bookmarks. Is that what you're trying to say? God, that's weird. But like, it is kind of funny because because I take like six months to read a book. <laughs> so like I kind of get it. But also, imagine wearing that jumper. Everyone would be like, what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> it could be a conversation starter, I guess. Imagine being an adult and getting excited over snow. <laughs> oh, wow. Imagine being this boring. It's magical when it snows. It's beautiful. Especially if it doesn't snow very often where you live. Oh, I'm an adult. I'm boring. I do adult things. You can keep doing that all you like, dude. I'm going to keep being excited over snow snow. Oh, so you think it's cold? No, you've never been cold. Not until you've been army cold. I've been colder than you. Okay, bravo. <laughs> Do you want a round of applause? Oh my god. You know, like, well done if you're doing good work in the army, but it's not a competition how cold you can get. How men who don't own property check their pizzas. Okay. <laughs> what, do <laughs> what does owning property have to do with eating pizza? Oh, people are so weird. <laughs> That's so strange. I'm just so confused. There'd be more people cooking and checking their pizzas that don't own property than people who do because owning property has nothing to do with eating pizza. <laughs> Saying y'all if you're not a southerner is cultural appropriation. Please stop. Wow. <laughs> Pretty sure it's not. Who would actually be upset that somebody else is saying y'all? It just depends on who you grow up around. If you have people in your life when you're growing up that say it, then you'll probably say it too. Like everybody is influenced by who they listen to. There are heaps of things that I say that I pick up from other YouTubers and other people that like put out content and stuff. I don't really think you have to be a southerner to say y'all, do you? People born in 1996 and after are not 90s babies. I don't care what y'all say. Oh, be careful. Don't say y'all unless you're from the south. <laughs> like, yeah, I kind of understand this one, you know. I was born in 1999 and like, yeah, I was born in the 90s so I guess I'm a 90s baby but I don't really consider myself one because I was born in 1999. So like, everything I can remember about my childhood is in the early 2000s. Like, I'm sure that's what they mean here. You know, like you're growing up in the 90s and you get to actually experience the 90s. You're not just a baby and you can't remember anything. Like, in that respect, yeah, I totally understand. But you are still born in the 90s. You just didn't really get to experience the 90s. I had to kick out my roommate when I found out that she was 5 foot 9. That's a man's height. <laughs> was this an incel or a nice guy? Oh my god, she's a female Chad. <laughs> the world is falling 
falling apart. What grown mother fricker still eats peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Um, obviously people with great taste. That too, buddy. And like, it's super nostalgic too. If you grew up eating it, then of course you're going to want to eat it. And should you feel bad about that? Absolutely not. People think peace is this, listening to music, but real peace is this, reading or listening to the Quran. Okay? I don't think you actually get to choose what peace is for other people, you know? <laughs> and you know what? That's a lovely time for me to end today's video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode of Gatekeeping. Birthday dinner. Uh, seafood is for women, but happy birthday. Seafood is for women. <laughs> In what way? Oh, bro, everybody knows that women only eat food from the ocean. <laughs> What do you mean? What a dumb thing to say. Who told you that? Bro, it's literally so feminine to eat seafood. Like, it's not. Also, don't bring gender into this because that's goddamn ridiculous. Even if only women did eat seafood, there'd be nothing wrong with eating seafood. Like, why is there this connotation that, like, it's bad because it's what women do? You sound insecure, buddy. Oh my god, more coffee posts. God, they're annoying. This is not coffee. This is coffee. Listen, if you think you're a manly badass just because you drink coffee that's like jet black. You're pretty boring, I must say. Like seriously, don't put your self-worth and don't put any of that crap on how you drink your coffee. I'm cooler than you and tougher than you and more interesting than you because I drink stronger coffee. <laughs> Who cares? I just drink coffee that tastes good. I genuinely don't think coffee tastes good if you don't have any sweetener in it. <laughs> and like, I'm sorry, but it's bloody boring. And that's just my opinion. But like, if I just have straight coffee with no sugar or no sweetener or whatever, it just tastes like swamp water. Like, <laughs> I'm not a fan of it. Okay, this one is on the book subreddit. Goodbye, sub. I've just finished Flowers for Algonon, and I look forward to never reading another book in my life. Not only did I finish it, but I finished it in a winter storm at 3 o'clock in the morning with no power. By the way, that sounds like the perfect time to read a book. <laughs> it's all, like, adorable. It's a winter storm. There's no power. Your house is probably getting robbed. <laughs> He's reading a book. So there was no screaming at my fellow bookish fiends or this subreddit. I couldn't even scream into a pillow because I didn't want to wake my family. My only choice was to die internally. I know that I'm late, but phew! How are you meant to make that noise? Phew! Phew! I can't stop embarrassing myself, can I? Good thing I don't care. Update. Watching Charlie, see you in a bit. Flowers for Algernon is not a book, by the way. It's a short story or novelette. Bro, if you say novelette... <laughs> I already don't trust you. Are we really gatekeeping books now? Yeah, I guess we are. People are bloody frustrating, aren't they? Oh my god, you think that's a book? It's literally a novelette. I'm sorry that I had to educate you on the subject. Go away. Let people read books. Let people have fun. Go be annoying somewhere else. Sorry, no, that was too harsh. Don't go away. We love you a lot. And I love when people say novelette because I've literally never heard that word before. And I don't know why you would ever need to say that. Wouldn't you just say short novel? Oh no, it's a novelette. <laughs> I'm going to be really embarrassed if lots of people say novelette. Oh, here's another coffee one. Great. If you don't drink black coffee, you don't like coffee. You like the idea of coffee. Just makes me laugh. Like, how do you care so much? It's a drink, dude. It's meant to taste good. Don't just sit there and lie to yourself and be like, oh yes, I can taste all the hints of cinnamon. It's so delicious. It has a warm sensation on my palate. Bro, just make a drink that tastes good. Why do people worry so much? Y'all are a bunch of fake emos shaking my head. Are y'all even depressed? Oh, Oh my god. No way. And of course it's got 54 likes and 166 comments. People were like, yeah, I'm, I'm not liking this but I've got something to say. Like, surely they're not being serious. Like, I really hope not. Are y'all even depressed? I really hope that people out there don't think that they're better than somebody else because of how sad they are. Like, people shouldn't be so light with that sort of stuff. You know, people actually suffer from depression. There shouldn't be people out there that, like, think it's cool to be depressed. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. I know I've read this one before but it doesn't matter. When a childless person tells me that they're tired, yeah. Because nobody else is allowed to be tired. That face too just sums it up like, mm, yeah, <laughs> you're not as exhausted as I am. And I'm sure a lot of people are even more tired and I'm sure they're not putting things like this on the internet. Okay, something else about food that, you know, people probably shouldn't care about. Team boneless, team flats and team drums. All you people who voted for boneless can just go get your chicken nuggets at McDonald's.
McDonald's. Y'all don't even want the real wings. Okay, buddy, I'll go and get nuggets. There's nothing wrong with McDonald's nuggets, okay? They're a fast food masterclass. Everybody knows that. This is just like the coffee thing, though. Like, if people enjoy eating it, then who cares? <laughs> like, you shouldn't have a problem with it. And just the thought of somebody being like, oh my god, I can't believe you eat them boneless. What's wrong with you? I'm much better because I eat real chicken wings. That's just disappointing. Like, come on. Public service announcement. You pretty much know that whenever you read that, that it's definitely not. You aren't a man if your bulge is smaller than your bicep. <laughs> okay, what if you got massive biceps? Then you better have massive something else. <laughs> Otherwise, you're not a man. This whole manly stuff is so stupid too. Like, oh, I'm a man. I have to be a man. I was about to say, like, real men don't worry about this sort of stuff. But even that's sort of lame. I'm a real man. What does that even mean? And I always think with people who say this sort of stuff, like, they're probably overcompensating for something. It seems like they're just trying to hide an insecurity. Like, if you just don't care, I feel like that's the place to be. Bro, you're not a man unless you have a bulge bigger than your bicep. Like, most guys wouldn't. Like, think about it. Like, if you've got pretty good muscles, like, you can have pretty big biceps. I'm probably thinking way too far into this. Men with LED lights in your room, what's your favorite lip liner? Like, that's kind of funny. Like, not really, but I sort of get where you're coming from. It's so feminine. Women love lights. Men aren't allowed to like lights, are they? Most of this stuff is, like, really weird when you think about it. How can you put a gender on colored lights? And, like, especially when they just look good. Like, maybe, yeah, they're, like, a teenager -y thing to do. I can understand that. You know, because every time you think of, like, an RGB keyboard, you think of, like, I've got, like, this sort of stuff as well. But, like, I feel like you do typically think of, like, a teenage boy who plays video games. But, like, I wouldn't necessarily say it's, like, a feminine thing to have RGB lights and LED lights. They're just lights, man. I guess I have a favorite lip liner now. What can I say? If you can't read this, you don't deserve $15 an hour. Wow. I can't read that. I could probably figure it out. What? Why so specific? Why this exact tool? And also, you can see the little watermark at the bottom posted in r slash gatekeeping. And somebody has posted this on Facebook. Bro. They're gatekeeping with a gatekeeping meme. That is superb. Until you have counted little fingers, counted little toes, held a little hand, kissed a little nose, and read to little ears, powdered a little booty, and wiped away little tears, you haven't known love. Click like if true. Okay. <laughs> Smash like and subscribe, everybody, if that is true. You don't know love if you don't have kids. Okay. That's what's been missing. Because I don't have children, I guess I'll never understand what love is. It's crazy how a lot of people in the world seem to know what love is and they don't have kids. Just doesn't make any sense. Like, I didn't realize, but apparently, you can't know what love is unless you have children. Yeah, like, I would have thought that was ridiculous too, but apparently that's true. Because this one account on Facebook said it. Also, they shouldn't be gay. I don't even know what this is on, like, and I have no context here whatsoever. It's just a random comment with 41 dislikes. And it deserves more. Why not? Because being bi is better. <laughs> oh my god, and that has 51 dislikes. Someone in the comments said that being bi is so fly. And that made me laugh. The best part of Reddit is the comments, I swear. But like, why would you ever say that? And why would you ever think that? And what context is this in? I want to know. If you don't have any friends, you're not an introvert, you're a problem. If you think that being an extrovert gives you the right to bash introverts for not having friends, then you're not an extrovert. You're an astrovert. You're a poopy, poopy, small brain. Ah, oh, the only good gatekeepers. Beautiful, beautiful golden retrievers. They look like they're protecting you from something. They're like, no, 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 don't go in here. The floor's slippery. It hasn't dried up yet. You're going to fall over. I love dogs so much. They're just full of love and they just make me happy. And I don't even have one, but thank God I've got Chico. POV, you're 12 years old. Swimsuit is dripping wet and you're cold as hell. And you don't remember what floor your room is on. When I was 12, I had depression and childhood trauma. Try a different age. Oh, Jesus. Way to be a wet blanket on that situation. Oh my God. Like, yeah, that sucks, obviously. But like, you know, this isn't what they're talking about here. They're making a joke that's pretty funny and relatable. You know, just sort of laugh. <laughs> like this comment says, I have depression and trauma and I still relate to this. It's crazy how that works. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not adorable that dad just got meat pies for his brother. J 
just saying. <laughs> what? I don't know. I think it's cute that he thought of him, lol. Just stop saying adorable. It doesn't suit you. Oh, listening to you doesn't suit me, bro. Like, I'd get that person out of my life. Like, I don't listen to people like that. Don't you tell me what doesn't suit me and what I should and shouldn't say. Go take a hike, buddy. You don't have a Valentine on Valentine's Day. Some people don't have a mother on Mother's Day or a father on Father's Day. So shut the hell up. Oh, God. Yeah, don't gatekeep being sad. Oh, it's not a competition. I'm sadder than you. Okay. Like, that's not a good road to go down. There are always going to be people in the world that have had it worse than you. And you know why that doesn't matter? Because it's not a competition. Why can't we just be here for each other and support each other and be kind to one another and understand that, like, all these things are bad. Some people do have it worse, but that's not the point. Oh, can't we all get along? Come on. You know, digital art isn't real art. You can't draw on paper like real artist. <laughs> What did you just say? <laughs> what are you talking about? All art is art. Can we not gatekeep these sorts of things? Like art is beautiful. Making art is amazing. Don't take that away from people. God. Those who regularly eat Subway, how did you lose both your taste buds and your dignity? See, like, I'm kind of laughing at that because I don't really like Subway very much. But I would never say that other people shouldn't eat it because I know that just because I don't like it doesn't mean that other people don't like it. Even if you could make a better sandwich at home in like five minutes. That's <laughs> That's neither here nor there. If a woman wants to be a mother, she has to be traditional and there are no two ways to it. No, dude. People don't have to listen to you. And that's all there is to it. Mums can be whatever sort of mums they want to be. They don't have to listen to you. To hear Trevor talking like a functional member of society is so weird. I think they're talking about Grand Theft Auto V, Trevor. Shut up, Fortnite kid. You don't belong in the GTA series. Wow. So because this person has played another game, they're not allowed to like Grand Theft Theft Auto? I didn't know people were like this. Like, there are actually people out there that are like, oh, if you like this game, then you can't play this game. How petty. I am so out of here, guys. My face when a non-vegan tells me how healthy their dinner was. Ah! <laughs> there are so many ways to be healthy and everybody's different. Yeah, some things are just downright bad for you, 100%. I don't think everybody needs to be a certain way or eat a certain way and I don't think you should think that they do. Come on, everybody, relax. This is what you call real bin men. There's nothing like that now though. Yeah, <laughs> because they invented a truck that does it for you. <laughs> it makes way more sense. Reminds me so much of that episode. The garbage man can. Shake the plastic bag and do the twisty thingy too. The garbage man. Oh, the garbage man can. If you have a beard, but you can't change a tire, shave. Ah, I'm a real man. I've got lots of tattoos and I ride a motorbike. And also, there's nothing wrong with those things. I love tattoos. I'll probably have a beard when I'm a middle-aged man. Oh, but they always use the same picture of the same sort of guy. Like, oh, I'm tough, dude. <laughs> like, just don't make it like that. Oh, you're only a man if you have a beard. And if you have a beard and you're not super manly and like super macho, then you should shave it. This subreddit should just be called Leave Other People Alone. An adventure is a perilous journey that takes days or weeks with no guaranteed chance of survival. Not a trip to 7-Eleven for snacks at 12 a.m. Yeah, like I'm not even gonna disagree. I say it and everybody says it, but yeah, it's not an adventure, is it? It's a fun thing we're doing. I say it all the time, like I can't talk. But when you think about it, most things that we call adventures probably aren't adventures. But I still think that's okay, you know, it's not a big deal. It's not really something that you should lose sleep over. Oh my god, you called something an adventure and it wasn't a perilous journey that takes days or weeks with no guaranteed chance of survival. How dare you? Dear men, stop owning female dogs. It gives off a clear indication that you subconsciously want to control and own women. Purchase or adopt a male dog instead. Feminism, journalism, vegan, animals, and dear men. Some people actually scare me. What do you mean? A lot of people wouldn't even think about the gender of their dog when they're buying it. You see a dog, you're like, oh my god, that's beautiful, I want that dog. And then you're like, is it a boy or a girl? And they're like, oh, it's a girl or a boy. It's not like I want to own a female dog because it's a female and I get to control it and it gets to be my pet. Are you insane? Yes, absolutely, Fincy. I'm 100% insane. This is what guys who order boneless wings wear. What is that? <laughs> like an easy way to keep your shirt tucked in? Is that what that is? Oh, that's so weird. It's probably great. Like it probably makes a lot of sense, but it's so funky. <laughs> oh, 
wait, so it opens down at the bottom. I was going to say, how do you even get into that thing? Yeah, that's 100% just so your shirt stays tucked into your pants, isn't it? <laughs> I love it. I really don't understand the whole thing with boneless wings. Like, who cares? They're easier to eat. They're still the same thing. They just don't have the bone. You're not going to eat the bones, dude. <laughs> and there's an option. You don't have to get boneless wings. So you go and get your bloody bone-in wings, and other people will get their boneless wings. Okay, these people just want to complain. That 12-hour shift I did at work got my socks still standing up. The mother flippers don't even know we off. I work 12 hours a day, every day of the work week. Eating lunch while I work, maybe a five minute break around three or four to pee and recuperate. And five to six hours on Saturdays. It's not a big deal, get over yourself. Are you really bragging about that? You gotta work smart and work hard. And just because somebody else doesn't get paid as much doesn't mean that they're worse than you are. You probably don't have to do that job. I work every single living hour. Well, don't then. I know it doesn't count because nobody considers being a YouTuber an actual job but I start quite unquote working like filming and editing from like as soon as I get up in the morning at like 8 until like midnight every day and I don't take any days off but yeah I wouldn't complain about it because it's amazing and also it's up to you like don't work that much you know I don't know maybe they're in a situation where they actually really have to or they just really love to work and they like to feel like they're better than everybody else is it weird if a man owns a rabbit is it gay yes rabbits are gay animals the fact that you're even worried about that makes Makes me sad. If I get a rabbit, are people gonna think I'm gay? <laughs> yeah, morons, dude. It's a rabbit. Rabbits are adorable. Oh no, as soon as you go and pick up a rabbit, you're automatically gay. It's insane that guys even have to think about that. If your boyfriend isn't strong enough to pick you up and pin you up against the wall, you have a girlfriend. No, that's not how it works. Here's some gatekeeping. If you make posts like this, you're probably annoying. If you're over 11 and you listen to video game soundtracks like it's real music, you're a freaking dweeb. How is it not real music? What does that even mean? Like, how do you define that? What? <laughs> if it sounds good, it's music. Like, how do you even define that? It's all music. How to drink decaffeinated coffee. One, pour it down the drain. Two, make real coffee. And three, drink that instead. Ah. Oh. <laughs> the coffee one is so frustrating because like, you're just drinking coffee. You don't need to be a snob about it. It's a drink. You're meant to enjoy how it tastes. And of course, people are going to enjoy it in different ways. And they're not all going to like straight black coffee that's super boring with no sugar. Decaffeinated is great because you get the taste of coffee, which you enjoy, but you're not up all night. Ugh. <laughs> like, I'm going to go drink decaffeinated coffee and not worry about what you think, buddy. Men shouldn't be allowed to drink milk. Okay. You're lucky it doesn't agree with me and I don't drink it anyway. God, those whisper things are so funny. There are so many funny ones on Twitter, just like this, like a random stupid saying on front of like a serious person's face. Milk is a weird one because I feel like it actually is sort of bad for you sometimes. Like, I feel like everyone's a little bit lactose intolerant, but I could definitely be wrong. But yeah, if you're a man, I guess you can't drink it. Also, stop calling a normal dinner with your friends a dinner. You guys are just eating food. Everything doesn't need to be biz related. Ha 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 ha. How is calling it dinner business related? Calling it dinner literally means that you're just eating food. What are you talking about? If you're saying you have a work dinner or a business dinner or something, maybe. But that doesn't even make any sense. What what do you mean? Stop calling a normal dinner a dinner. What are you gonna call it then? That's literally what it is. My crystals are better than yours because I've been collecting them my whole life and didn't just get into them because they're a trend last year. No, doesn't mean they're better than anybody else's. But I do understand what you mean. Like it is frustrating because you do something, you're doing it just to be trendy, even though you have been doing it for a long time. And then you look like the person who is doing it just to be trendy, but you're trying to act like you're not. I understand that that can be really annoying, but you know, who cares? Don't let it bother you so much. If you don't have two PC monitors, you might as well be a console gamer. Wow. I've only got one, but it's just one big ultra wide, so it pretty much is two monitors. Am I still a PC gamer or not just because this person said that I'm not? Don't you hate it when one random person on Twitter decides how you live your own life? Oh, I guess I'm not a PC gamer. BRB, I'm just gonna go throw out my computer. If you're a male, you do not order vodka sprites. You order whiskey cokes. Hashtag rules. Oh, <laughs> I think I think we should check out some Made Me Smile, guys. I've had enough of these insecure guys. I feel like less of a man with the type of drink I order. Oh, bloody alcohol, dude. Grow up. And also, if somebody is judging you by the sort of drink that you order, you probably don't even need them in your life. Like, let's be honest. They're the sorts of people that you need to keep your eye on. This is a car. This is a computer. Oh, dude. <laughs> wow. Are you sure you're just not frustrated that you don't have a better car? I love classic cars and, like, really mechanical old cars. But like, 
what you're saying here, dude, is just your opinion. If other people don't want to drive the cars that you want to drive, that doesn't make them not a car. It just means that everybody's different and everybody wants different things. Whoa, crazy concept, I know. When she's smart, beautiful, and is loyal, but she has an Android. Oh, no. You can't date anybody unless they have an iPhone. You know, this one's just on an Apple fan page on Instagram. Like, I don't think they really mean anything by it. And also, I don't think I've ever known a girl that didn't have an iPhone because I only hang out with girls that use iPhones. Yeah, but if you actually didn't date somebody because of their phone, that's a little bit strange. If you're over 15 and you like video games, you're a loser. Fortnite, Call of Duty, etc. No excuse. Plus, any woman loses respect for you. Grow up. Dude, there are so many people that make like millions of dollars playing games, acting like it's not a real thing that you should be doing. And even if you're not making money out of it and you just like playing games in your free time, I don't see why you should ever not do that. As long as it isn't taking away from the rest of your life, then why does it matter? Video games are an awesome way to relax. They're an awesome way to just sort of zone out. And they're really important for a lot of people. So how about you grow up, dude? Icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. Kids today couldn't handle the pain of taking one of these bad boys to the shin. Dude, kids still hurt themselves. Maybe they make better pedals nowadays, so maybe you've got a point. But yeah, no, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of kids out there that are still hurting themselves on push bikes. Yeah, no, I think there are actually a lot of kids out there that are still hurting themselves on push bikes. I don't think that's going to go away. Kissing a man without a mustache is like eating an egg without salt. Okay. <laughs> that's a bit abstract, isn't it? That's a little bit specific, isn't it? Can you buy that sign or did somebody make it? Don't you have more to your personality than your bloody mustache? <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> no, literally everything about me that is important is my mustache. That's all I have going for me. God, I hope not. Water drinkers, cold or room temperature? No one who actually drinks water prefers cold. No, I totally agree with this one. I cannot stand water that's like ice cold. Like there's nothing worse in the world. Like when you're actually really thirsty and there's nothing better in the world than like a heap of water, ice cold water is not satisfying. And also it's not like water tastes good. It doesn't taste like anything. So like the longer it takes to drink it, the worse. Like I just want to get that down. I'm sorry, I don't want to gatekeep, but I agree with this one. Pokemon is not a real game. Are you sure you want to go there? Pokemon Go for sure, but Pokemon? You need to get your definition straight or we have a problem. Yeah, there are so many Pokemon games and they're definitely real games. Like, what do you play, bro? They're all just games. I don't know why people think that one is necessarily better than the other. Or like, you're not a real gamer unless you play this. Who cares? They're literally all just games. I like games as well, but you're still just playing a game. You know, people act like that there's one type of game that you sit there and you look super cool and like you're an absolute legend because you're playing this game. No, you're still just sitting there playing a video game. There's not one that's like way cooler than another one. No grown man should be in the pool at a pool party. It's a pool party. Why would you go to a pool party if you didn't want to go in the pool? That's the whole point of the party. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm too manly for that. I wouldn't dare let this body touch water. What are you so worried about? Jesus. I'm not allowed in the deep end. <laughs> like that clip of Ralph. I'm not allowed in the deep end. This is my sandbox. I'm not allowed to go in the deep end. Okay, so this person made some biscuits and they're posting it on Facebook. But those aren't biscuits. Well, they're not British biscuits, no. Or rolled biscuits. They're drop biscuits. I am Southern. There is only one kind of biscuit. That's a pan full of dense rolls. Okay, sorry you missed out because they're awesome. Yeah, the world's bigger than where you live. Like, there's going to be different types of pretty much everything. Yeah, no, nah, this is the only real way to do it. You're only saying that because that's the way you've grown up doing it. It doesn't mean it's the only way to do it. And also, why are you getting upset about this? Like, this person just sharing their cooking on Facebook. It's cooking. <laughs> You're just putting things together and eating it. Like, why would you gatekeep that? We did fondue for dinner. So fun. Looks awesome. But as a Frenchman, it triggers me beyond reason. You have like four pieces of bread and like a ton of veggies and fruits. All you need is charcuterie, charcuterie, bread and cheese. You don't have to go all in. Sometimes simplicity is best. Well, that's cool. I'm an Alaskan living in Ohio. Sure, the bread and 
your meats are the best, but have you ever tried an enoki mushroom or blueberry dipped in fondue cheese? Because I have, and it was pretty amazing. I needed to clean out my fridge a bit, waste not, want not. And to me, a full pot of fondue with one other person and a bunch of bread and meat isn't going to be any fun. Ah, uh, stop triggering me, please. Stop gatekeeping fondue. Stop misappropriating my culture then, lol. I don't even want to ask what cheeses are in the pot. Frickin' Gruyere. Fond. <laughs> All these cheese names. I'm sure I spelled them all wrong and your fondue is so much better than mine. Take your French attitude and shove it up your fondue pot. Lol. Yeah, like who cares? Seriously. Especially with something like that. They're having fun and they're eating good food. Like just because it isn't exactly how you did it. Who cares? <laughs> and yeah, don't be narrow-minded. Maybe this is way better. Until you're married, you're single. We just got engaged. Single. I live with my boyfriend and we have kids. Still single. We've been together for 15 years. Super single. Single. I call his mother mom and she calls you single. My kids call him dad. Survey says, ding, 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 single. We have joint bank accounts. This is getting old. Single. He has a credit card in my name. Oh, stupid and single. Now, to be fair, that was pretty funny. I just don't understand. I really don't. I live with my boyfriend and we have kids still single. How? What are you talking about? Sounds like somebody who really wants to cheat on their partner wrote this. You're like, yeah, we've been together for 15 years, but we're still super single, so it's totally fine that I see other people. Fake goths are hella annoying. Listening to Lil Peep and Billie Eilish does not make you goth for freak's sake. I bet half of those goth e-girls and e-boys have never listened to real goth. What's real goth? What are you talking about? Anytime you make something like this a competition, it's a bad idea. Because like, what's to say that you're not a real goth? Like, why are you the gatekeeper for everything? Why are you the one to decide who is and who isn't a goth? How entitled can you Get. I'm at the forefront of this entire movement and I decide whether or not you're a true goth. Oh my god, whatever. Forget iPhones. This is the level of animosity Fox News has towards poor people. Definition of poor families is not what it used to be. And they have in brackets poor households, 99.6% have a fridge, 81% have a microwave and 48% have a coffee maker. So are they trying to say that you're not really poor if you still have a fridge, a microwave or a coffee maker? Oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Why would anybody ever think that that was a good idea? Oh, that's embarrassing. Why would they do that? Like, what? Yeah, no, nah, you're not poor if you still have a fridge. Oh, get out of here. Lil Nas X, I bought my first house today. I have six rental homes and a nice income plus double digit interest every year. Congratulations. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Trying to flex on him like you're more successful. <laughs> God, that's bad. What? Why would you tweet that? I hate people that just rub it in everyone's face. Okay, I've got this, 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 and this. Good on you. I don't care. Please take your Apple Watch off if you're wearing a dress or formal attire. You look like a spy kid. You know, that's pretty funny, really. Because it's kind of true. I have an Apple Watch. I stopped using it because the bloody thing was a pain in the ass. It was so frustrating. Sending me notifications every 10 seconds and telling me to stand up. I don't want a watch that tells me to exercise. And, um, and yeah, you do sort of look like a spy. I don't Snapchat or TikTok, but I can drive a stick shift, read cursive, count back change, and do math without a calculator. God, I don't TikTok or Snapchat. I do real things like a real person. Do your Facebook because you're posting this on there right now. The boomers on Facebook that say that they hate technology are so annoying. You're using your phone right now, and like if somebody took your phone away, you wouldn't be able to check the news, and you wouldn't be able to check the weather, and you wouldn't be able to complain on Facebook, would ya? God, <laughs> but I can read cursive. <laughs> Good for you. Do men eat raspberries? Not real men. Oh, I hope I never actually see somebody like this. <laughs> like, I never want to hang around a guy that thinks like that. Because you have to just be so insecure. Like, what the hell, dude? Nah, real men don't eat fruit. They eat steak. <laughs> yeah, okay, man, whatever. Like, you can live like that as long as you want, dude. Raspberries are amazing. If you're not a female and you don't know what this is, consider yourself one. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, Jesus, whatever, dude. Yeah, so if you don't know that that's like a part of a clutch, then you're a woman. Unbelievable how just because you say that, it doesn't make it so. You're not a boy. You don't wear sneakers with jeans. You only wear sneakers to exercise. Oh, God, I'm so out of here. I think I've had enough of people telling me what I can and cannot do today, guys. If you're an adult whose rent is less than four grand a month, you're still a child. No, you're probably just making smarter choices with your money. Being an adult means putting all of your income into your rent when you probably don't have to. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, thank you. I'd rather be a child. I'm so depressed, posted the Caucasian heterosexual cisgender teenage girl on her blog. Wow, okay, you're gonna gatekeep depression. That's not a good idea. You know why? Because everybody can be sad. And especially if somebody actually has depression and you're trying to tell them or like shame them into thinking that they don't. That is so so lame? <laughs> you have no idea. Um, you know what licking is not for small boys who expect it to smell like Domino's pizza. It's raw meat. Little man very raw. Only tigers and lions understand. Oh, did you have to make that sound so gross? <laughs> it's raw meat in capital letters. Also, imagine if you were a woman and it smelled like a Domino's pizza down there. That would be equally as alarming. Gatekeeping the Mediterranean. Oh, you bloody bastard, get out of the way. What are you doing, dude? You're blocking traffic. Surely somebody can pick it up and spin it around. It can't possibly be that heavy. <laughs> it's only a ship full of containers. You're never truly tired until you have children. Then I said, I have narcolepsy. And then they said, it's not a competition. Oh, another one of these people that thinks that like they're better than other people because that they get more tired. That's weird. So my co worker and I were talking to each other and he brought up that he was tired because he stayed up late the night before while studying. I just said, same. Then one of our other co-workers, who we're not speaking to, but was a few feet away, comes up and says, you're never truly tired until you have children. She's actually a really nice lady, but she says stuff like this a lot. My co-worker and I are both under 20 as well, so it also kind of felt like a jab that young people can't be tired. So I just looked at her and deadpanned, I have a narcolepsy. We looked at each other in silence for a good 10 seconds until she just goes, okay, well, it's not a competition. Ironic, huh? <laughs> You're kidding. You went up to them and went, well, you don't really know what being tired means until you have children. Hey, lady, it's not a competition. As soon as they get it, no, 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 it's not a competition. I know. <laughs> go back to your desk and go back to work. Oh, well, you didn't have to say it like that. I really don't like when people do that. When they do something and then you do the exact same thing and then they make you feel bad <laughs> because you did the same thing that they did. And it's like, this is not how it's meant to be. You're meant to feel bad. If you're over the age of 13 and you're still eating Cinnamon Toast Crunch, you get what you freaking deserve. You know, like that was probably meant to be a joke, but dude, I love cereal. What are you talking about? I don't know if it was real or fake, but some guy found like shrimp tails, like prawn tails, in a box of his Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So like, I'm pretty sure that's what they'd be talking about. But prawn tails or not, I'm eating my Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, now with added crunch. Dear generation with saggy pants, this is how you wear jeans. Yeah, like, please. <laughs> I'm not even gonna argue with this one. I totally understand where they're coming from. You know, like, wear your pants however you want, but I think it's always better to have a booty than not. I struggle with that, and I'm sure a lot of guys do. Like, I'm really lacking in the cake department, and it always looks so flat and weird back there, you know? It's a pain I know oh so well. Okay, so this one was posted in a pencil sketching group. Lots of people are posting realistic drawings of people on here, but this is not art. Yeah, okay, you learn a skill after hours of practicing, but you're just copying a photograph. Big deal. Yawn. I just find them incredibly boring. It's 2021 for frick's sake. How is drawing something from a reference image not art? Like, that's how a lot of people paint. That's how a lot of people draw. Raw, and just because you don't like it doesn't mean it's not art. Like, they're probably jealous. They probably saw something that was really amazing and they're like, oh, well, that's not art. My art's better than that. That's not the point of art. Being super jealous and competitive about it. Let people express themselves. Jesus. Icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. How can you be 20 years and above and haven't spent two or three days in the police station? What are you really doing with your life? You know, that's definitely a joke and it's a funny one too. 
22. I'm 22 and I've never been in a police station. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm not planning on going in there. Unless Chief Wigan was in there, then I'll be in there all the time. But unfortunately, he's only a cartoon. Unless this isn't a joke, but I'm pretty sure it is. Because a lot of people do this sort of stuff and they sort of forget that, like, that's not a good thing. It's actually pretty good that I haven't been in a police station before. Weird thing to brag about, you know. But that's only if it's not a joke. And I'm pretty sure it is a joke. Don't wear green if you're not Irish. One, two, three, four, five, six times. Bro, saying the same thing six times doesn't make it any better. We heard you the first time, and it's ridiculous. You're gatekeeping a colour. <laughs> oh my god, if I see another person wear green that isn't Irish, I'm gonna flip. Oh, stop making up problems. People need to grow up. Depression, I had it at 18. I'm 35. Deal with it. Wow, not good advice. <laughs> Jesus. You know, just don't have it. <laughs> that's like telling somebody that's like doesn't have any money to just have money. Oh my god, remember that thing? Oh, what was it? Where some person came out on social media and it was some like spoiled brat teenager or something. And they were like, um, why don't homeless people just buy a house? <laughs> ah! <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> You're not a real gamer unless you can shove an entire Nintendo GameCube up your ass. Proud to be a real gamer. <laughs> an entire GameCube. They're pretty big, aren't they? Yeah, I don't think there are going to be a lot of people that are quote-unquote real gamers. Real men don't eat quiche. A guidebook to all that is truly masculine. That's a joke, surely. Yeah, okay, good. It's definitely a joke. But, like, there actually are guys like that that are like, oh, God, I'm a real man. I'm not gonna have a bath. That's one. I'm not gonna go sit in water. That's what women do. <laughs> I'm a man. I get all dirty and gross and I don't clean it because I'm a real man. Oh, my God, it reminds me of that clip. <laughs> what was her name? Alex Whitney. You know that girl on The Simpsons? And she's like, well, you can giggle and stink all you want, but I have a credit card. Yeah, like all these men out there, you can stink and be manly all you like. I'm not insecure. So, I'm a dad now. Not until you forget to wear your cool shades and wear puked stained t-shirts and have zero time to pose for a selfie, you're a true dad. Oh. <laughs> I'm truly frustrated. And I think we should check out some wholesome memes right now, guys. Guys, I'm fine with you females watching Naruto, but don't think you'll ever understand. Sasuke's true pain, like us boys do. Oh yes, you can only understand pain if you're a boy. Yeah, I'm sad. Yeah, I'm upset, but you wouldn't understand because you're a female. Cringe. <laughs> Would you rather football die, you miserable sausage? Do you ever have fun or is it always doom and gloom for you? <laughs> football died 25 years ago. If your club started after 1890, it's it's not real football. Oh, we've already got one of these people. Oh, it's not real unless this happens. It's very much real, dude. They just think that because, like, they grew up with it at this perfect time that, you know, like, it's the best. No, that's just your experience. My football club is older than yours, so it's automatically a real one, and yours automatically isn't a real one. Don't ask me how that makes any sense. It just does. Celebrating her achievement of buying her first home at 28 with her husband. How about try being 23 buying your first home on your own? That's an achievement. Or you could be happy for her instead of gatekeeping achievements. Yeah, these people are just sad. Just be happy for other people. It's not a competition. This mindset always ends bad. Because if you're thinking that you're better than this person, because you bought your home on your own at 23, and they bought theirs at 28, someone's going to come along and be like, I bought mine when I was 21. I'm better than you. You genuinely can't win. Wow, dude. A lot of people need to be nicer. Adults who like Disney shouldn't be allowed to vote. What? Because they have fun? <laughs> oh, I'm better than you and I'm more adult than you are because I don't have any fun and I'm boring. Dude, you can have that. That's such a self-diss. You're basically telling everybody that you're no fun. <laughs> okay? Like, this whole subreddit is just weird flexes. Like, I'm more boring than you are. <laughs> Good for you. If you're not planning on having kids, why are you working? working so hard for money. What do you want to do with all that money? It's none of your business. <laughs> I have no idea yet because I'm so young, but I probably won't have kids. Some people just like working hard. It might not even be about the money. Come on, I'm trying to push myself here. You know, like all these people just turning a positive into a negative. Go away. <laughs> oh, this one again. If you're white and you eat sushi with chopsticks, congratulations.
congratulations, you're a colonizer. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Like, what are you meant to do? Pull out a knife and fork and eat your sushi? How is it wrong to do something the traditional way? And all the people that are running these restaurants, I'm sure they don't mind. <laughs> like, they're just getting upset about pretty much nothing. I feel like it's ruder to go to a sushi restaurant and not use chopsticks. That's what you're meant to do with the food. And it's respectful when you're there. Oh, God, I don't know. Okay, so this one is on a picture of the queen sitting on her own. Oh, poor thing. After 73 years with someone and they're gone. I pray God gives her peace in her heart. I could not imagine this pain. On top of it, having the whole world look at you in one of your most vulnerable moments. <laughs> yeah, right. So much harder than what happens to normal people. Ah, face palm. It's not a competition. All these sorts of things suck. Just because something sucks more than the other thing doesn't make it any less valid. It's like the depression one at the start, you know? People are like, oh, well, I'm sadder than you because I've gone through worse things. That doesn't stop the other person from being sad. <laughs> You're just doing it to make yourself feel better. Grr, Vincey mad. Hey, guy with a hydration pack, two hiking sticks and a North Face vest. My five-year-old walked the same trail in Crocs carrying a naked Barbie. Relax. Nah, that's funny. <laughs> like, it actually is. Yeah, I guess you get keeping like what being active and not being able to hike <laughs> but imagine if you were doing a hike like coming back from a hike with your five-year-old daughter and you saw some guy walk past with her <laughs> like all this gear on that would definitely be funny but some people just like to take things a little bit too seriously <laughs> and that's okay you cannot be a snack with stretch marks um what do you call this then buddy how rude you can't be a snack with stretch marks like bro you better be good looking and like even if you are <laughs> That's such a douchey thing to say when she says that she's bi because she makes out with girls when she's drunk. You're not gay. You're just an attention. You know what? Like, I think this is a bit oversimplified, isn't it? Like, I think this sort of stuff's pretty complicated. You can't really just be like, oh, no, nah, you're just an attention. Who are? Yeah, this one's a bit tricky because, like, it probably would be annoying sometimes because you know that some people probably are just trying to get attention. But at the same time, like, who are you to say that? Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? No real man is taking restaurant leftovers home. Not finishing your plate is kind of feminine. Well, like, what? <laughs> My brain isn't functioning after reading that. Like, I always laugh at this subreddit because these sorts of guys, they're so insecure and they're so worried about what people think of them. You know, like, some of them are definitely jokes and this guy could definitely be joking, but, like, they're trying to come off as, like, this super cool, super tough, super, like, uh, like, the ultimate legend. But the only way to actually be like that is to just not care about any of this stuff. Like, dude, I don't care what you think of me if I take my food home. I don't care what you think of me if I wear certain clothes or do certain things or... You know what I mean? But no, it's a feminine trait to take food home. Well, you learn something new every day, don't you? You don't get to complain about this, Mortal Kombat, if you didn't play this. Yeah, you can. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Stop telling people what to do. <laughs> don't claim that you celebrate 420 unless you drink all the bong water. <laughs> Don't put that in my head. Yuck. <laughs> like when Barney drinks the ashtray. Barney, don't steal any beer while I'm gone. What kind of pathetic drunk do you take me for? <gasps> Somebody spilled beer in this ashtray. <laughs> I just had a publisher tell me that because I'm bisexual, I'm not a part of the LGBT community and I'm not qualified to write about it. So that's something. Oh my God, what? Oh guys, on that frustrating note, I think we need a couple of wholesome memes. All of those things that you wish someone would have told you when you were struggling means that you know the perfect things to say to someone who's struggling now. Yeah, for sure. Check on your friends, make sure they're doing good. Dude, and together we win. My five-year-old cousin attacks me with his toy sword, me playing along, <laughs> accepting your death. Oh, <laughs> what article is that from? Okay, I don't want to get into that. This is not base. This is base. I know it's a different word, but all I can think about is this Bass Pro fishing game that I used to have on the computer, and it had like the worst graphics of all time, but I used to love it so much. But yeah, obviously this is really dumb. Different people are going to like different sorts of music. Obviously not everybody is going to like the same music that you do. 
And yeah, that's okay. <laughs> There's no reason for anyone over the age of 21 to be having a conversation with anyone under the age of 18. For the last time, son, I won't talk to you. I'm sorry, students, but this is the last time I'm going to say this. Stop trying to talk to me. I'm afraid I can't hire you. I cannot speak to you. I would tell that kid to get off my lawn, but society isn't ready yet. My newborn baby just said its first word, but I'm not trying to hear that. <laughs> Hello, 911. Help, my parents are in a burning build. Oh, I don't know, kid. You sound just a little bit young, and I don't know. I'm not really feeling too comfortable with this. <laughs> Hangs up. Oh, heck. <laughs> I think they really just mean, like, don't go out of your way to do that, you know, and don't be weird, don't be creepy, whatever, which is just common sense. But, like, yeah, obviously you're going to talk to people. What? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Not too comfortable with this. <laughs> but my house is burning down. Oh, yeah, I don't know. You don't really sound old enough. I love the internet so much. If it has more than 100,000 listens on Spotify, it's not real music. I only listen to underground people that nobody knows about because I'm very different. I don't want to be a gatekeeper here and I don't want to judge people for their music taste. Don't worry about whether or not they're popular. Worry about whether or not you like the music. This generation of kids will never know this pain. We were outside 24-7. What do you mean? You think kids don't fall over these days? Of course they do. They say funny things. They run around. Of course they're going to skin their knees and fall over and stuff. That one's just confusing. Gatekeeping is not only a good thing, it's a morally good thing. It maintains the quality and integrity of the activity or IP in question. Damn, you have a terrible opinion, buddy. I am not your buddy. You are not worthy of my friendship. I don't accept fake gamers, noobs, and casuals as friends. Oh, cringe. <laughs> what is that about, dude? And apparently this guy was going around saying that everyone who doesn't agree with his opinion on Resident Evil is a fake fan. I just couldn't care less. Like, <laughs> why do people care so much about stuff like that? If you don't agree with my opinion on Resident Evil... <laughs> We cannot speak to each other. Dude, that's crazy. Celebrating your birthday is a feminine trait. Maybe some guys don't throw like really big parties for their birthdays. But no, because a lot of guys do. I have no idea how that could be feminine. But anyway, you do you, man. Use the other door. The goose will attack if you go through this door. I'm totally fine with this sort of gatekeeping. If I had to choose between an angry goose bite and all this other stuff on this side, Reddit. <laughs> I know what I'm going with. Nah, as a grown man, laying on your stomach in general is extremely homosexual. What? <laughs> is that a joke? I know for sure there are guys out there that think stuff like that. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> How ridiculous. That's sad. I've been laying on my stomach my entire life. I didn't realize it had anything to do with that sort of stuff. Okay, so a tweet by Lego. Be transported to the frozen place planet of Hoth with this detailed imperial probe droid. What's with the sudden trend of grown men playing with children's toys? Do these men also make space shippy sounds when playing with them? Hashtag man child. Is this attractive? Has it crossed your mind that maybe they don't care what people think and they're just doing it because they enjoy it? Whoa, what a crazy thought. A flashlight in real life versus a flashlight in horror games. Fear is weakness. If a video game can invoke fear in you, you're not strong enough for the real world. Oh, wow. Why are you so serious about this? <laughs> why are you getting so angry about this? If a video game can invoke fear in you, you're not strong enough for the real world. I am better and stronger than you because I realize that fear is a weakness and I don't let it control me. A lot of people just really like to suck the fun out of everything. That was just a funny meme about horror games and how the flashlights are bad. Don't be so serious. Oh my god. I am getting the COVID vaccine, said no man with testosterone ever. Like, this is just stupid. Like, <laughs> almost everything we've read today makes absolutely no sense. Are you a real Brazilian? Lol, what does that mean? Is the legend about Brazilian women true? Uh, you gotta be more specific, man. Ah, oh, do you have a big booty? No, a normal one. Oh, you're not a real Brazilian unless you have a big butt? <laughs> okay. Okay? <laughs> this comment here, why does horniness turn so many dudes' brains to pudding? <laughs> it's such a shame. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better myself. You're a pudding, bro.
brain, dude. Bruh, I am Christian and I was waiting for months for this song. It's at the top of my Spotify on repeat playlist and one of the only songs I listen to. Ah, uh, there's a difference between being a true Christian and saying you're one just because you believe in God and Jesus. And they're talking about the Lil Nas X song, of course. I don't even really know what they're referring to and they might have a point. But does this matter, you know? Who knows, maybe I'm wrong. I hate women who complain about being fat when they're like a size 5. Anything under size 5 isn't a woman, it's a boy with breasts. Okay, so if you're a woman and you're under size 5, you're not even a woman. Why doesn't everybody know about this? Surely this would be breaking news. Bro, you're over 18, stop ordering chicken strips everywhere you go. Nah, that's funny. You can eat whatever you want, but it is always good to broaden your horizons <laughs> and try something new. If you can't hear him from 6 blocks away, you don't have a boyfriend, you have a girlfriend. Just wait until I get my license back, B Arches. That's so much funnier with the caption. Just wait until I get my license back. I may have lost my license, but you wait. When I get it back, I'm going to be driving my car around and you're going to hear me from kilometers away because I'll be playing my music so loud through my subwoofer. Hell yeah, dude. Like, I'm one of those people who can't listen to music really loud while they drive. Dude, I can't even see straight when music's too loud. Like, I, <laughs> I don't know how people do it. Turn that down. I can't see. So I guess I'm a girl. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> Why didn't someone tell me? Carnus, don't come near me. I have the flu. Vegan, what is flu? Oh, wow. Like, okay. I'm going to be honest. That's a bit of a weird flex. <laughs> and I don't know if that's true in every case. But hey, go for it. People who order boneless wings. Get it? <laughs> They're babies. Imagine thinking you were more of a man because what you ate still had a bone in it. <laughs> like, come on. Is that what you base your manlyhood on? But can we not do this when it comes to food? You're ruining things that people love. Please do not tell the world that you have done skydives. If you've done a few tandems where you were actually only strapped onto a real skydiver, riding on the back of a motorcycle as a pillion does not make you Barry fucking Sheen. Okay? <laughs> like, I get what they're going for. You know, everybody else went skydiving and they go tandem with somebody else. I actually went skydiving all free on my own. We are not the same. I'm not like the other skydivers. One month cigarette free. Nine years, mother fricker. Congratulate yourself after two years minimum or be prepared to start the loop again. I am almost certain that that is the exact same guy that has commented that sort of stuff before. We've read a very similar post in another gatekeeping video, but it wasn't the same as this. But I recognize the guy's profile picture just going around finding people on Twitter who are happy and proud of themselves for not smoking cigarettes, which is amazing. And just being like, nah, I'm better than you because I've been doing it for nine years. Mother fricka. Straight up, that's so awful. You might even say, icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. People should definitely be proud of themselves for that. Men who use a charcoal grill. Men who use a gas grill. You know, like, I do kind of understand what they're going for. Like, you're not less manly if you use a gas grill. That's bloody ridiculous. I think charcoal genuinely is better though, isn't it? But yeah, you're not less of a man if you don't use one. Guys have been making up this ridiculous stuff for like the longest time. I remember hearing about it with um, front wheel drive cars. You know, guys would be like, oh, you drive a front wheel drive, you must be a girl. And they'd be like, oh no, I drive a rear wheel drive because I can do big burnouts. <laughs> because that somehow makes me more of a guy, I guess. Doesn't make a lot of sense when you think about it. Not everyone will get this. 3.1415, get it? It's pie on a pie. <laughs> but not everybody will understand that because not everybody is a genius. As a man, you should be able to afford this bill. Six grand worth of food, basically. Let's go through this. Two oysters, two king crab legs, two grilled prawns, two meat sushi, two... Uh, bur burrata? Burrata? <laughs> Me and my words, eh? Salt Bay Passion. Oh, they went to the Salt Bay place, did they? Voss Stillwater, JW Blue Sprite, one spaghetti, <laughs> in quotation marks, french fries, mashed potatoes, spinach, sweet corns, and then steak, 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 and baklava, espresso, and then something for $1,500. But what if I don't want to spend $6,000 on food? But as long as you've actually got $6,000, you're a man. But if you don't, I guess you're just a boy to this random 
random person. Golf is such a joke. Old people can play it. Like, if you can be over 40 and be great, it ain't a sport. Dude, they're fighting words. Golf is really hard. Last time I tried to play golf, I couldn't even hit the bloody golf ball. I think it's definitely a sport. <laughs> You're hitting a tiny ball, like a six million kilometers, getting it into a tiny hole. It's not like basketball where you're just running around all the time. But yeah, no, I guess it's not a sport. Sorry to break it to you, everybody out there that plays golf. I don't know what you've been doing all this time, but it's not a sport. Wanting a strong woman is a sign of homosexuality. Any masculine man wants a submissive woman. They've done it. It's now gay to be straight. I would love to think that it was just a joke and they were just making fun of like neck beards or something. That's the only time I ever hear about a guy wanting a submissive woman is on the neck beard subreddit. But like they're probably being serious and that really freaks me out. Digital art can be realistic, anatomically correct, objectively beautiful, but it will always lack a soul. I can't put my finger on it, but whoever appreciates real art made from real materials and not imitations of materials will understand. Digital art is not real art. Oh, like I almost understood what you said until you said that digital art isn't real art. It's totally fine if you don't like digital art, but you can't say that it isn't art because it is. What girls think that men want, what men actually want, real men love traditional women. <laughs> Did it ever cross your mind, dude, that maybe they're not even thinking about what men want? Ah, yes, the entire world revolves around me. You're dreaming, man. Don't wear Vans if you have never been hit by one. Finally, somebody's saying it. That's why they made Vans, obviously. They're a shoe company that really hate Vans. Obviously, they're joking, and I'm so happy that they're joking. We need more jokes on these subreddits. She said her boyfriend works on cars. I said, oh, that's cute. Ha ha ha. Because I work on bigger engines. <laughs> Therefore, I'm more of a, I don't know, car guy. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Hashtag today's kids will never know. This was all you needed for a birthday party back in my day. People still have birthday parties like that. I don't know what you mean. A cake, ice cream? I don't think anything's changed. I'm a beginner in Minecraft. This is my first design idea. A garden fertilizer with bee power. You know, pretty cool. Makes a lot of sense. Nice, but please don't play on a phone. Phone gaming is not fun at all. This guy obviously has never played Simpsons Tapped Out. That's all I play. And like, yeah, Minecraft on the computer is better than on the phone. Like, I don't think that's really debatable. But if they want to play it on their phone, they can. <laughs> and that's okay. Lady Gaga says that she got pregnant at 19 after being, you know what by a music producer early in her career. A trauma that triggered a total psychotic breakdown. Oh, she's full of crap. A real, real you-know-what victim. Turns them in so it doesn't happen to others. Trust me, I know. As horrible as it is to relive it, you do it to save the next. If not, you're just as bad as he. Oh, no. You can't be saying that sort of stuff. Yeah, that's not a competition. Oh, icky, icky, icky. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I think it's wholesome memes time. Emotional support from a friend. Me who's going through a rough time. <laughs> That's the cutest photo I've ever seen. And it actually genuinely looks sad and happy at the same time. And those little hands, oh my god. I want to give it a hug, but I know that probably wouldn't be very good. Oh, isn't that cute? He's trying to claw my eyes out. What do we have here? Recognizing hand scars. No job. Desk job. Construction worker. Or an auto mechanic. Literally missing half a finger. You know, like, I guess there's some truth to this. Have you seen my hands? They're beautiful. But, like, what's the point of this? Is it, like, a manly thing? I'm better than you. I'm a real man because I get my hands dirty. Is that what they're going for? I have no idea. I'm happy with my hands hands. Me making sure I know 20 Nirvana songs, Kurt's daughter's birthday, and Dave's shoe size before I leave the house with a Nirvana shirt on. Yeah, how true is that? It's so annoying. Oh, you're wearing a Nirvana shirt? Name all of their songs right now. Come on, dude. I just like this shirt. You don't need to be an expert in something to wear their t-shirt. I'm so not picky when it comes to music. If I think it sounds good, I'm getting 
gonna listen to it. Like, I'm really not one of those people who, like, researches the band and learns all about it and learns all of their songs and learns all of the words. I just listen to stuff that I think sounds good. And you know what? I think that's okay. Millennial dads have pathetic DIY skills compared to baby boomers. Baby boomers have pathetic blacksmithing skills compared to 9th century Saxons. Yeah, that's exactly right. Don't act like your generation knows everything. And also, this is a total load of crap. There would be so many millennial dads that have really good DIY skills. Probably just as many as baby boomers. I was going to complain about the heat today, but then I realized it isn't 120 degrees. I'm not 5,700 miles from home. I'm not dressed in full uniform. I'm not carrying 70 plus pounds of gear. And there is a little chance of me driving over a bomb today. Thank you to all of those that serve. Yeah, 100%. But we're not talking about that right now. You can still complain about how hot it is. I totally understand. We should all keep things in perspective. It's really not that bad. But also, you can definitely still complain about it being hot. I gotta know, please, what kind of watch? It was an Apple Watch Series 1 that I got from my dad years ago. I landed pretty hard on my wrist when I hit the ground, so it didn't stand a chance. I'm sorry it was a gift from dad, but it's not a real watch. And I'm seriously glad you're okay. Looks more than 30 feet. It goes on my wrist and tells the time. I'm pretty sure that constitutes as a watch. Oh yeah, watch guys have been saying stuff like this for years. Like, oh my god, you're wearing a smart watch and not a Swiss made timepiece? <laughs> yeah. Like, I've told you guys before, I have an addiction to watches, but I understand that not everybody is super into them and like a watch is a watch you know like just because you're into something like I guarantee you I know what this sort of person thinks they're super passionate about their watches they're super old school they love the analog watches they're really old watches and anything that isn't like a good brand or doesn't have any history they're just like nah that's not a real watch no it is a real watch it's just not a watch that you like I don't understand Apple watches are awesome Netflix's subscriber base has reportedly dropped by nearly half a million in the US. Disney Plus is better. If you love princess movies, sure champ. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did you really need to say that? You don't like Disney Plus. Okay. Isn't The Simpsons on Disney Plus? I don't have Disney Plus, but I don't want to hear another bad word against it. Thank you very much. Nah, honestly, I have no idea if Disney Plus is good or not. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Real men can't be bi. Oh god. You're either straight or gay when it comes to man's sexual preference. Pick one. Oh no. What do I even say to this? <laughs> you know, like how is this real? How are we reading this right now? It also makes me sad when people are worried about being a real man. What does that even mean? Attention to all the females who will be dressing as Harley Quinn for Halloween this year, please don't. If you don't know where Harley originally came from and you're just dressing like her because apparently it's the most popular mainstream media costume for females, then stop. If you're a legitimate fan of the comics and not just a sheep that follows, then by all means, rock the crap out of that costume. Harley Quinn wasn't originally in the comic book, surely. Yeah, that's a comment here. Harley Quinn was introduced in the early 90s. Yeah, in the Batman animated series, not a comic. Yeah, so I hope you're not wearing a Harley Quinn costume for Halloween because obviously you don't really know what you're talking about, do ya? God, that's so funny. They're gatekeeping people from wearing a costume unless they're like an expert on the subject and they're not even an expert on the subject. Just relax, everything's okay. Why would you even worry about what sort of a costume somebody else is gonna wear. <laughs> Who cares? My generation grew up with keg parties in the woods. Your generation has white claws in mummy's basement. We are not the same. Oh, okay. <laughs> what sort of a point is that? Oh, hey guys, there's differences between our generation and the things that we did. <laughs> 
thank you for that. Oh my god, I swear I saw this post in like 2007. Android users, iPhone users. Once again, what are they trying to say? <laughs> These guys that have the iPhones have some nice colorful clothing and the people who use Androids don't. So like they're more badass or something. I have no clue. None of y'all are real gamers. If y'all have PlayStation 1 until PlayStation 5 and at least one plat trophy, then you a real one. Oh no, I'm not a real gamer in your eyes. What am I gonna do? <laughs> I don't care if you think I'm a real gamer or not. That's not the point of video games. Video games are just for having fun. Don't take the fun out of video games. Be archers be like, I love horror movies. It's my favorite genre. And their favorite movies are The Conjuring and Annabelle. Now listen, I do agree there are definitely better horror movies movies than those two, but that doesn't mean that people still aren't allowed to like The Conjuring and Annabelle, and it doesn't make them any worse or any better than anybody else. Wait a second, people have personal preferences? Whoa, no way! <laughs> I've never heard of it. This restaurant, unfortunately, has really gone downhill since about five plus years ago. It used to be an exclusive restaurant only for the truly wealthy, <laughs> but now we've catered more to the middle class who want to feel special and rich. Lol. One person used to be $500 to $1,000. Now for a mere $50, you could probably eat here, not including alcohol. Oh, what a joke. I'm never going back. Oh my god, that's awful. They didn't even say anything about the food. I can't stand people like that. They're literally only going to a restaurant because it's expensive. <laughs> oh, that's so lame. They didn't say anything about the food. Like, oh my god, I used to pay more money at this restaurant and now I don't. Oh, I do not like being surrounded by people who aren't as rich as I am. People who run a restaurant don't want you there just because it's expensive. Oh, <laughs> how frustrating. If you wear a mask and you aren't sick or at risk, you should shave your beard because you haven't earned it. Yeah, a bearded man with a mask needs to shave. He ain't no man. Wow. <laughs> Imagine wrapping up your masculinity in whether or not you wear a mask. That's hilarious. <laughs> You're not a real man unless you meet my standards of what a man should be. You cannot please people like this and you shouldn't even try. Honestly, if you're 23 and under, what the hell can you be depressed about? If you can't handle being a kid, a Adult life is gonna kill you. Oh my god, it's definitely wholesome memes time. You think that people under 23 can't have real problems? Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's forget about gatekeeping with some wholesome memes. Me feeling sad and bored. A text from my best friend. Oh yeah, 100%. And honestly, most of the time when I feel down, it's when like I've been spending way too much time with myself and you just sort of get in your own head a little bit too much. And yeah, and yeah, talking to your friends really helps that. So cute. When dad is ordering a drink and a beer for the little guy over here, seven-year-old me, dad, I'm not old enough to drink beer, dad and the waiter. <laughs> I love that meme template. Jim Carrey is so good with facial expressions and I love that one so much. <laughs> oh, silly me. I didn't realize that you couldn't actually get a beer. Isn't my face red? Nintendo Nintendo is for children, not gamers. You can't even spell Nintendo properly. Nintendo is for children, not gamers. What does that even mean? Do you mean that children can't be gamers? Oh, it's so cringy. No, I'm more of a gamer than you. Why do people care about that? Let people have fun. Here's a woman tip. Women don't belong in the gym. It comes across as masculine and S-wordy. It's a feminist push gone under undetected. But how should women lose weight then? Walk, jog and resist ice cream. What? Oh my god! It's a feminist push gone undetected. What, to stay fit and healthy? Oh guys, I legitimately
legitimately can't believe the stuff I read on this channel. Every single day, I'm surprised with the stuff that we read. So yeah, I guess women don't belong in the gym. Why would this upset somebody? I don't understand. How is it anything but a good thing? Yeah, weird. If you can't cook with other people around, you don't really cook. You might be doing cooking things, but a real cook can work around people. You learn that real fast from being employed as a cook in any real cooking environment. Okay. <laughs> That's so specific. When would you ever need to say this? Like, oh God, dude, you think you can cook? How about you try cooking around other people? That's how you know if you're a real cook or not. Look, bro, I'm just making dinner. I never said I was a real cook. If he plays the drums, piano, or guitar, red flag. Extra red flags if he plays all three. Even more if he sings too. Do they not know what red flag means? What could possibly be wrong with that? <laughs> These people are making problems that don't even exist. Imagine meeting somebody and they tell you that they play drums or piano or guitar and you're just like, oh God, no. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you anymore. Everybody knows that being able to play an instrument is a red flag somehow. <laughs> Steve wasn't talking to any of you born after 97. Oh, this crap. <laughs> You're only cool if you were born in the mid 90s or earlier. You know, they're definitely joking. But at the same time, it's just not very funny. You know, like, oh, my generation is the best generation. That's what everybody thinks. Dear men, it's beta behavior to not be willing to be the sole provider for the family. Oh, bro, you know what the most beta thing is? Talking about being a beta or not. It's the most made up ridiculous thing. And it all just comes from insecurities. No, I'm an alpha male, not a beta male. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm a lone alpha wolf. Okay, dude, keep me out of it. Rappers then versus rappers now. Oh, it's so sad where the rap genre has gone. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, wow. They're all artists. It's amazing that you can express yourself however you want nowadays. And that's not to say that people back in the day didn't wear stuff like that. And also, why would you judge somebody over what they wear? When you post stuff like this, it says so much more about you than it does about them. Don't wear beanies unless you skate. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Bro, skateboarders think they invented beanies? <laughs> Sorry, that's hilarious. Oh my God, you think you were the first one to wear a beanie? <laughs> I swear to God, you guys just want to appropriate our culture and fetishize us on God. And then you say we can't fetishize lesbians like, OMM, that crap, not fair. And I'd be scraping my knees and elbows at the skate park like every day. So you guys to just wear beanies and like our sheer is just annoying and disrespectful and sheer because I and see you guys scrape raping your knees every day. <laughs> It's like self-harm or whatever, so just stop wearing our crap on God. Oh my. <laughs> that has to be a joke on God. <laughs> and they're wearing a Carhartt beanie, which is a workwear brand. <laughs> so are you stealing beanies from workers? This one is so ridiculous, it has to be a joke. But on the other hand, I really hope it isn't. The fact that there are people out there that think skateboarders invented beanies is amazing. Bro, they keep your head warm. It has nothing to do with skateboarding. New Heyday EP dropping on Friday. If your hands don't look like this on the daily, you're not welcome to listen to it. Okay, I won't. The title says that's one way to try and promote an album. Yeah, that's a really bad way to get people to try and listen to your album. <laughs> bad marketing, dude. If you don't watch a series entirely, you are not a true fan. If you do watch a series entirely, you are not a true fan. You are only a true fan if you are, are powered by electricity, have multiple flat blades and spin around really fast. Damn right. I love really bad jokes and this is like the epitome of it. It's like when you take a photo of like two fans and you're like, oh, these are my number one fans. Or if you're standing in the middle of a paddock and you say, I'm outstanding in my field. I love crappy dad jokes, especially when they're making fun of gatekeepers. Also, he's blonde. That's not a man's hair color. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that even?
even mean? So what, do guys have to have like brown or black hair? They can't be blonde. I'm pretty sure you can be a man with whatever hair you like because it's not the hair that makes you a man. Wow, believe it or not, how dudes without beards like to get kissed. I'm done, guys. It's well and truly wholesome memes time. I look very pretty today. I don't want anyone to tell me. I just know I do. Yes, you absolutely do. That's one of the prettiest birds I've ever seen. My heart, hearing my wife come home, seeing her walk through the door, getting my kiss and hug. Ah, oh, that's so cute. That scene with Mr. Burns and Homer. You are highly skilled. And goofing off. <laughs> I won't abandon you when your mental illness acts up. Ah, oh. <laughs> This is so much nicer than gatekeeping. I can't even put it into words. And that's a good place to leave today's video here, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, all that fun stuff. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me here on my Instagram. And today's comment of the day goes to the weird Poseidon child. Vincey, I respect you for being able to read these out loud without going insane. This is the best job in the world and I love it so much. And at this point, I'm pretty much used to anything I'm gonna read. I have really thick armor when it comes to this stuff. Okay, guys, thanks again for all your support. I really appreciate it. Have an awesome rest of your day. Have a wonderful night. And guess what? I'll see you tomorrow.